Look, I look cute. Hey y'all, it's Jayla, AKA Jay Chanelli. If you're following me on Instagram at Jay Chanelli, you know I just celebrated my 26th birthday. And today I'm gonna show you how I achieved these heatless curls on my tea part unit. This was my birthday look, so super proud of it. So if you wanna see that whole process, let's go ahead and get into it. I purchased this wig from Amazon. It was a little bit over $100. I will, of course, leave the link in the description box below. But it's a T part unit, which means we have minimal lace. That means it's very user friendly, which is what I need, okay? Because I have not touched a wig in a year. <laughs> so I needed something that was very straightforward. We are going to bleach these knots, and hopefully, you bleach them better than I do, girl, because my process was atrocious, but yours will be better because you're going to learn from my mistakes. So I'm just gonna take that batter-like consistency and spread them all over the knots for at least 30 minutes and then I'm going to wash it out with shampoo and then condition the hair, of course. If you're watching this video thus far and you're enjoying what you see and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm gonna bring you natural hair videos, protective style videos, beauty and makeup videos, just me being me videos. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the fam. I appreciate you so, so much. But let's leech these knots though. Hair is freshly washed in condition and now we are going to blow dry it so we can proceed with styling. I am going to be using the Revlon Heat Styler and Volumizer Brush. I already have a review of this brush. I used it on my Type 4 Natural Hair and was very surprised at the results. I will leave that video link above in the cards and in the description box below. But this brush helped me go through this hair in less than 10 minutes. I was completely done with blow drying this hair. Highly, highly, highly appreciate a good product that will knock some time off my styling portion, okay? I went ahead and plucked a couple of the knots that I don't think took very well to the bleach. But, um, you know, it did take well to the bleach, the hairline, <laughs> because I over bleached the mess out of that hairline, as you can very well see. But my end results were stunning, okay, because you could not even see the hairline. It did not matter that I over bleached, so all is well with me because it looked good at the end. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply these flexi rods so I can get some heatless curls. I'm using the Nairobi Wrapping Lotion. I'm gonna use the purple flexi rods and then I'm gonna rubber band the flexi rod to hold the curl in place, okay? Now, the trick is you gotta flexi rod the hair as if you was working at the fair collecting cotton candy for people, okay? That's how you do it and that's how you're gonna get that wand curl look absolutely loved how these curls turned out so highly highly recommend you following exactly what I said and rubber banding it so it stays in place now y'all I let these flexi rods sit in this hair for a week and a half no exaggeration because about my b-day picks I was not playing so go ahead and do this well in advance so the hair can dry nicely and really set those curls and now you're gonna see me on my birthday installing the unit Remember to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this video thus far and let's jump right into the B-Day application. And now we need to figure out this hair situation. So first of all, I gotta take all these flexi rods out and then I have to fix the very front because as you can see, I over bleached the knots, okay? Cause you know, your girl has not touched a wig in a very long time. So here's me, 26 years young, taking out these flexi rods. <laughs> Not doing anything special, I did apply some of that Garnier Fruity Serum to my hands to reduce the amount of frizz that I was getting. But other than that, I'm removing the rubber band, removing the flexi rods, and moving right along. I am also gonna cut the lace off of this unit. Remember, it's a tea park lid, so it's not a whole lot of lace to cut off. I literally just cut off as much as I possibly could, and then we're going to go ahead and apply this unit to our heads. Let me know, all the Pisces babies, I need y'all to comment in the comment section below. I need y'all to blow it up. I don't care that it's every season. We don't care. It's still our time. So go ahead and light up the comment section. If you're wondering how I'm about to stuff all this natural hair underneath my wig, you should go watch my last video. I'm gonna show you exactly how I prep my natural hair for wigs. I didn't exactly do the same process in this video, but just know I got you covered, girl, okay? It's not gonna be a struggle for you because I'm already providing for you. So again, go ahead and check out that video in the cards above. I will also link it in the description box below. Mm -hmm. 
guess whose camera died right when I needed to take pictures. So I went ahead and put it on the charger. We're gonna have to use the phone for now. So we are finally applying this unit to our head and I'm not using any other tools to adhere this to my head. There is an elastic band in the unit that I'm gonna use. There are also three wig combs, one in the back and two on the sides. That's all I use, no got to be, no anything else. I did not glue this unit down, I'm not. This is an anti-glue account, okay? So it was able to stay on my head using the tools that I had. And I'm gonna take out the flexi rods in the front and then get to fluffing and separating. I use a wide tooth, wide tooth comb. I also use my fingers to separate the curls. Anything to make it big and bouncy and voluminous and just give you all the 70s vibes that you needed in your life, okay? Um, I really do admire the 70s aesthetic. I admire the beauty of the 70s. And that is what I wanted to emote on my birthday. So I hope that I executed that correctly, okay? Let me know if I got the aesthetic down in the comment section below. I will be looking for your comments, so please, please let me know what you think. I'm gonna stop talking and just let y'all watch this wig transform from A to Z. We did what needed to be done and I hope you enjoy seeing the rest of the styling portion. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing me transform this tea part unit. If you did, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also like this video so YouTube can share it with other people. Um, don't forget to follow your girl at Jay Chanelli on all social media platforms. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.